is Dave here and welcome to the VR experience Goliath. Just reading the description of it, like, it's a story of a man who spent years isolated in psychiatric institutions but finds connections in multiplayer games. Like, I feel seen. <laughs> Not the institutions part, but just the whole psychology and finding peace in something superficial like video games. It's a visual experience, so by default we can say that it's gonna be good. Things like that on Quest really are some of the best experiences in terms of art style and just the whole production, like it's such a different genre apart from games that whenever something releases, I'm all done for. Goliath from just the trailers and stuff seems interesting. It's like I always love the depiction of psychology and how people think in different scenarios. This time around we'll have someone with schizophrenia, which is terrible. Something that I would not wish for anyone. But at the same time, it's very intriguing. What are the differences in that particular mental disorder? Normally experiences like that explain you really well. What is it really about? So let's just go into it. It asked me for a permission to record audio, so I'm not sure what to expect. Let's see. The mind is a mysterious place. Other subtitles? Nope, it's fine. Everyone's works a little differently. Who are you? Tell me your name. David. David. <laughs> what the? Let your eyes get used to the darkness. It takes time. Longer for some, more than others. Perhaps the only thing you can see are your hands. Yeah. Our reality is made when sensation and expectation come together in your brain. There is no creature on your hand. Your mind joins up the dots between what you see and what you feel. That's how horror works. But that is a cheap trick. And this is not about cheap tricks. Reality is a very serious business. Which is why you lot spend so much time trying to escape it. Now, feel the weight of your hands. Squeeze them gently. You can see them here. You can feel them there. But where are they really? Hmm? On your hand is a game. Try and keep the marble at the center. This is so weird, but I love it. Ah, good. But how are you able to do this? Keep the balance of the ball against invisible forces. When there isn't even gravity in this place. Sometimes your power gets taken away. This is an experience about knowing the difference between what is and isn't real. Reality is just a story after all. One we tell ourselves to make sense of the world. Some stories aren't true. This one is. This is the story of Goliath. From inside his mind. It's gonna be a good test of my mentality for sure. I feel good because, you know, I don't normally tell people about some of this shit. And my fucking head's just fucked. Uh, hallucinations, having unusual thoughts, having your thoughts kind of disrupted, it, it's not actually that uncommon. Uh, and it's only when it becomes more entrenched and persistent and really starts to affect someone's life that we begin to think of it as a medical problem. But actually, it, it's, not, it's not actually at all uncommon for individuals to have those experiences. So to take an example, um, someone who perhaps, it, it's quite often linked to trauma, 
Uh, not always. Uh, I think that's really important to say, but it can be linked to trauma. So someone who's experienced trauma subsequently goes on to feel that people are following them. Um, and they this feel is that these people Dr. Henry have a line in 10, what is they've got particular characteristics, but you begin to realize that it's not really possible. It feels like a nail. It's not possible these so people can be in all these places at once. Now I sound like a crazy person. in this very particular way <laughs> to be communicating with them. Go back to the original image. thought. It makes sense. Uh, one gets that impression. No, that's perhaps one of the most interesting and certainly characteristic features of breakdown of this kind as opposed to, say, a psychoneurotic. Game? <laughs> Schizophrenia is not a proven illness. They name you that because they can't explain anything else about you. They call you schizophrenic. It's something that I understand and everyone won't. People call me Goliath. I'm a gamer. It's the gaming and the streaming that saved me. Every game is doing something that's impossible to do in real life. No one wants to lose. Everyday life, you don't want to lose, do you? Sometimes you don't have control, but you're doing a game. This starts amazing. I was a problem child when I was a kid. My mum was in the wheelchair a lot. Carers used to come around 24-7 and they didn't like me that much. I looked after mum all the time. When I was a kid I played a lot of games. It was it was a way of getting away from things. Having that escape. I got kicked out of home. <laughs> so cool. Dude, I'm stuck on this game. What the hell? Oh. Finally. That's so cool. I move cities a lot. Started drinking too much. Probably more enemies than friends. <laughs> Hi. I went to fight. I have no moves. Out. <laughs> I can't fight back, that's so sad. I just didn't care, I was in self destruct mode. I was into partying, having a laugh with my friends, and dancing around like headless chickens. Pills? Hmm, I don't know, man. I used to mix techno records. Ooh. It was a psychotic episode. Bring it on. I just started messing around with the pitch too much. Basically speeding and slowing down the beats, trying to match make them. Oh, that's creepy. I just had violent ideas. Uh, a bit angry and stuff inside. It was, didn't really know what was going on. I couldn't really control my mind. Went mad. No one could hear me go. It was, it was some scary shit. You can't tell what's real, man. You can't tell what's real. Uh. 
Are you feeling this? I'm not so sure. The connections are fragile. When it all comes crashing down, what is left to hold on to? Psychiatric hospital, yeah, that's right. And it had a barbed window, fixed desk. It had a bed. And a toilet in the corner, metal toilet. Everything's fixed in it so you can't harm yourself. You know, if you ever get anxious, you get a bit jumpy in the heart and that. Yeah, times that by a thousand. That's your hell. That's mine. That's crazy. The universe is revolving around me in a bad way. Holy hell. Everything's linked. Everything's linked. I used to see people shouting at me, calling me shit. Calling me shit, you're gonna die, you crap. It's there, I know it's there, but the doctor doesn't. Just voices coming through the you know, outside the door. <laughs> outside the window. Everything crashing around me. And you're on your own as well. And it's forever. Sometimes it's the little things that make all the difference. Actions and reactions. That's how you know you're really here. I had to be assessed and uh, get the right medication in me. Clozapine. It's an antipsychotic. Strongest oral antipsychotic in the planet. I used to churn that stuff out to people. Do you get hungry? Get fat. Ah. It just makes me grump like, ugh. I see you're getting more comfortable in this place. You're getting the hang of it. It does get easier. Predictable, even. But are you still in two places at once? From the outside, you seem like someone who's doing something very peculiar. <laughs> Fighting thin air. It's 
calms me down. They took me to the computer room with this nurse. And he stayed with me for about two, three hours. We just played football against each other on, on the computer game, which was quite cool. Treat me like a human being. I don't know if you understand that. I think it took me like what? I think it took me like six, seven years to get out of that place. By the time I left hospital, I passed away. Lots of people slip between worlds. It can happen to anyone. <laughs> when I came out of hospital, it was like, yeah, I'm out, great. People do treat you differently if they know you're ill or whatever. They treat you differently because they don't understand. And what they don't understand frightens, frightens them. People are doing their own thing nowadays, aren't they? You get used to it. Got internet connected. The power of the internet. Everyone and anyone got sucked into some online gaming, which I loved. It was great. <laughs> it was the uh, you know the entrance into a bigger world, basically. Came okay, it good. You meet people in the game, and if you're good at the game, they want to join in. Oi! I see you. You're in the game too. You big sack of pudding. If you're having fun with the person you're playing with, then you, you make friends. If you get things called trolls, tell them to F off. <laughs> Everything you see is just part of the game. Everything you feel Aww. is real. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. I know there are some references, but I can't really tell. Maybe it's like old school gaming. Uh, oh, sorry guys, I've got to go. There's someone at the door. You open up a bit more when you're online, because you, you know, you're, you're behind the screen. I don't really tell people what's wrong with me and stuff. 
face to face. Mm. Right. Okay, we're back in. Back in the room. <laughs> Hello, love it. Holy warrior. Alright, Blood Bula. Evil Mayor, how you doing, fella? Hey. Alright, country slayer. Everyone spam some potatoes in the chat. There's people coming in and out all the time. People just want to play with me at the moment. Teamed up and then became friends. <laughs> ah, try it on this time. Let's talk about it for 20 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> Half hour later. Oh, no, it's full of there are a bunch of there are a bunch of funny ones. Yeah, chucking jokes out there and all sorts. It's all it's all fun. <laughs> Absolutely. You're one of us, be one of us, be one of us. I can't wait. Oh, what a shot. That's it, man. What's the of that? Yeah, I mean, Rocky is amazing. He plays with his mouth paralyzed from his neck down. Oh. Omen is a nutter. I'm disabled. Homes disabled. Uh, Just helping each other out. I'm pushing in, come on, man. Work as a team. Wow. If I didn't have online gaming, I don't know where I'd be. The next world will also appear to be real. This is an illusion created in your brain. Your mind joins up the dots between what you see and what you feel. Let your eyes get used to the light. It'll take time. Longer for some, more than others. Perhaps the first thing you'll see are your hands. If you can feel them, you will know that you can do something there. And that might mean reaching out to somebody else. All realities are imagined. But the ones we share endure. Thanks to you. That was amazing. I love anything psychology based. Like that's my specialty. Very fun. Very wholesome. I would never like be interested in a topic like gaming for disabled people. Like I really loved the whole message and the storytelling of it. Per usual as ever experience it's missing subtitles. Like I know it's not to break immersion and stuff like that but subtitles always help with just the gameplay and stuff. There's not much to say you know. It's just a very cool story of Goliath transferred into the virtual reality experience. Now I'm more educated on what schizophrenia is like. It's just cool to discover different sides of life, you know. It's stuck on this screen, so I'm pretty sure this is the end. Very well done. Hats off to you.